everyone, it's Geraldine here with you. Do you love applique? I love applique. But a lot of ladies find applique hard without getting the little pokey sticking out. Whether it be something like this where you have a satin stitch and you do not want the pokey sticking out. Or even a blanket stitch for example. So here I have some little cupcakes. Now firstly, to help prevent the pokies, you should put some stabiliser on the back. So in the case of applique, use a good quality applique. I use Tilda Fix, there's different brands on the market, Heat and Bond, any of those will help stop the pokies. But if you have a design, I've got two here to show you, and you don't have a digital cutter and you're not good at trimming in place where you put down a square and it stitches it down and then you trim around it. I'm going to show you how you can create that shape, in this case a heart, without a cutter and without having to trace off applique pieces. So when you open up an applique design, it usually tells you that there's a placement line. Now some designers call it a die line but that shows you where the design is going to be stitched. So here I have two designs to show you. One is a blanket stitch heart and the other one is a satin stitch. So the first stitch is the placement line. That's where you would stitch that, put your piece of fabric down. The next one is a tack down that will hold the fabric in place and then the next one would be a cover stitch over the top. In this case a blanket stitch. So what I'm going to do is I've got my machine set up um, with my hoop connected. I'm on the 15,000. I've got the SQ14 with just a piece of tear away in the hoop. But I'm going to, I've changed my needle so I have an old needle in my machine and I have two pieces of fabric here that I want to use for the heart. So I've just chosen these two and I do still have the paper on the back and that's important, you must keep the paper on the back. So I have an old needle in my machine and I'm simply going to go into the set menu and turn off my upper thread sensor. Now if I don't turn this sensor off, the machine is smart enough to know that the thread is not moving at the top. So somewhere on your machine you will find, um, on most of the computerized ones now, you have an upper thread sensor. So on the 15,000 it's in common settings on the first page and black tells me it's off. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just choose either one of these. Maybe I'll choose this one. And I'm going to place it paper side up which is going to actually give me the mirror image as if you were going to trace it then you would put it on the window to trace off. You would trace the reverse so that when you put it down on your work it's the right side round. So paper side up, I'm choosing the placement line and I'm just going to put the paper in the hoop and I'm just going to hold it there and press the go button. So what's going to happen is the machine is going to stitch all these tiny little holes which would be stitches but in this case are not. And it's finished. So I just lift it off and you can see now I have beautiful perforation marks that I can simply just cut around on the paper. So I need the other one 
as well so I'm just going to scroll through my design to the second heart and it's colour number four here it says placement so that's three here's my placement line for the second heart and again I'm just going to put my piece of fabric in I might go this way so there's more at the back and hit the go button Now you do not want to use this needle for sewing when you finish doing this. You need to change it to a new needle, put this one away and you can use it next time you have an applique. And there I have again. Now the beauty of doing this is on the other side you can't see really where you've been so there's if I do inspect I can see some little holes there but if you were to change your mind and not want to do this you could just iron it and do something else with it but I'm going to cut these out I'm going to change my needle back and most importantly I'm going to go back in and turn my upper thread sensor back on and say okay so I'll get that ready and I'll see you back here. Okay, so I have cut out my little hearts. Here they are here. And I've set the machine back to stitch number one and I've turned my thread sensor back on. I've threaded the machine in a gold thread and I'm just going to use this same tear away that I used to cut those hearts. So I'm just gonna place a piece of fabric down like so and it's going to move up to here now to stitch out the placement line for the first heart So I'm taking the paper off the back of the applique. Now it's never a good idea to iron here. You really need to take the hoop off. I have a small ironing pad here. And I'm just going to place that heart just inside that stitch line. like so. I have my iron here been heating up and just gently press that in place. Now you don't iron on your machine because you could just melt something in there that you don't want to melt like your bobbin cover and also you should just wait a few minutes. Oh, I think I've put that on crooked now. I have. Okay, so we've, we've ironed our piece on. I've got the blanket stitch, applique stitch selected in the hoop and I'm going to go Okay, so that's one. I'm going to now scoot down, do the placement line for the next one.
Now this is a satin stitch. Now you can see if I pop this down here, make sure I've got the sticky side down, that the design should be fitting just to the edge of that stitch line. Okay, so I'm going to <coughs> Uh, just give that a little press and then come back and we'll watch it stitch. Now I've ironed down the second piece, uh, the second heart, and it's going to do the satin stitch. And when I create applique designs, I make sure that the, fab the satin stitch is what they call 50-50. So it's 50% on the applique piece and 50% off. Bearing in mind, it's only three millimeters wide anyway. That's not a lot. So you can see I have no pokies um, on the satin. It's going around. There's there's no bit sticking out that shouldn't be sticking out. So we might just let this sew and show you how it all looks at the end. Okay, all done. So you can see it's a perfect applique stitched in place. So you could use your placement line or your tack down line, whichever one um, you have, if it shows up on your screen. It will be the outline of your applique. And if you use that to cut your applique piece, you should have a perfect fit. Have fun. Bye for now. Okay, so there we go, it's all finished. So perfectly placed applique fabric, no pokies in either of them. So I hope you've learned something from this. I hope you enjoy that and you can apply it to some of your designs. If you'd like to um, know more or do more fun projects with me, click on the link below to Geraldine's Academy and I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.